Today's a special one. We're talking Think and Grow Rich, the classic iconic book of success, revered by millions. Stick around and see why. Before you can learn AI dope, you gotta know Think and Grow Rich. Ever fixate on something you want? Like really, really bad, you can practically taste it. Oh yeah. That dream job, mm -hmm. a creative project. Yep. Maybe just an amazing slice of cake. We've all been there. Think and Grow Rich dives deep into that feeling, that yeah. burning desire. And it argues that it's not just wishful thinking. It's the first step to achieving any goal. Mm -hmm. Ready to unpack this classic. Um, yeah, let's do it. it. It's more than just another self-help book. It's packed with stories, almost like mini biographies. Mm. And it makes these ideas really stick. For someone who might be rolling their eyes at the title thinking, yeah, right, I'll just think myself rich. What's the hook? Why has this book resonated for generations? It's the stories. Like, uh, take Edwin Barnes, an yep. ordinary guy with an extraordinary ambition. He didn't just want to work for Thomas Edison. He was determined to work with him as an equal. And this wasn't just some idle daydream for Barnes, was it? No, not at all. The book emphasizes how definite his desire was. Barnes sold himself to Edison before he even had a job offer, even showing up at Edison's office and refusing to leave until he got a chance. Wow. Talk about persistence. Okay, so there's that word again, persistence. Think and Grow Rich seems to hammer that home, especially with that story about R.U. Darby's uncle, right? The one that makes you want to scream at the page a little bit. Oh, absolutely. Imagine being three feet from striking gold after years of backbreaking labor and giving up. Oh my gosh. That story is a powerful gut punch. It's about the real life cost of losing sight of your goals. It makes you think about those times you almost achieved something great, but gave up too soon. Right. So how do we avoid becoming Darby's uncle? What's the book's solution for staying the course, especially when faced with setbacks? That's where Think and Real Rich introduces this concept of the mastermind. It argues that no one achieves greatness in isolation. Think about Henry Ford. Oh, yeah. His story's incredible, rising from poverty to building an empire, but yeah. he didn't do it alone. Right. He surrounded himself with some serious brain power. Er. Edison, Firestone, Burbank, all these brilliant minds feeding off each other. It's almost like they form their own think tank, bouncing ideas and strategies off one another. Exactly. The book suggests that this mastermind principle is essential for success. It's about harnessing the power of collaboration, surrounding yourself with people who challenge and inspire you to reach your full potential. So for our listener, think about your own life. Who are the people you consider to be a part of your mastermind? Who are the ones who push you to think bigger and hold you accountable? That's such a powerful question. And Think and Grow Rich doesn't just tell us to find these people. It actually provides guidance on how to build these powerful alliances. It's about finding minds that complement your own creating a synergy where the whole becomes greater than the sum of its parts. It's like that saying, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. But Think and Grow Rich doesn't shy away from some, mm -hmm. shall we say, unconventional ideas. Right. This concept of transmuting sexual energy, for example, it's not exactly your typical business advice. That's one part where people tend to either get really curious or raise an eyebrow, but it's not about what you might initially think. Okay, I'll bite. What is it about them? Think and Grow Rich suggests that the same drive and intensity we often associate with, well, romance and passion can be harnessed, redirected. It's about channeling that energy, that laser focus, towards achieving your goals. So it's not about taking things literally, but more about tapping into that raw drive yeah. and applying it to other areas of your life. Exactly. It's about recognizing the power of that energy and choosing to consciously direct it. Now, if that isn't out there enough for you, the book also talks about tapping into a sixth sense. Okay, hold on. We're talking about intuition now. ESP. Did Napoleon Hill moonlight as a psychic? Not quite. Think and Grow Rich describes this sixth sense as a kind of heightened intuition, what they call creative imagination. Think of it like this. It's that flash of insight, that aha moment when a solution appears out of thin air. Like when you're wrestling with a problem and then suddenly, bam, the answer just hits you. Precisely. Think and Grow Rich argues that this sixth sense is within all of us. It's about learning to tune into those intuitive whispers, to trust those gut feelings that often lead to breakthroughs. So it's less about predicting the future and more about tapping into our own creative potential. Exactly. It's about recognizing that we have this wellspring of creativity within us and learning how to access it. And one of the ways 
Think and Grow Rich suggests doing that is through auto-suggestion. Auto-suggestion. <laughs> Sounds a bit like self-hypnosis. Are we about to break out the swinging pocket watches? Think of it more like positive self-talk, but on a much deeper level. It's about consciously feeding your mind positive affirmations, visualizing your desired outcomes, and essentially training your subconscious to work towards those goals. So instead of letting those negative self-doubts creep in, you're actively replacing them with empowering beliefs. Precisely. Think and Grow Rich argues that by repeatedly focusing on what you want, by truly believing it's possible, you make it that much more likely to manifest in your life. It's about aligning your thoughts and beliefs with your desires. That makes sense. But let's be real, life isn't always sunshine and rainbows. We all face challenges and setbacks. Does Think and Grow Rich address that less than positive side of things. Absolutely. In fact, the book dedicates a significant portion to tackling six basic fuels that often hold people back. And these aren't just abstract concepts, they're fears we can all relate to. Poverty, criticism, ill health, loss of love, old age, and even death. Wow, that's quite a list. And these fears are universal. It doesn't matter if you're a seasoned entrepreneur or just starting out, those fears can really paralyze you if you let them. So how does Think and Grow Rich suggest we handle them? It starts with awareness. The book argues that understanding these fears, shining a light on them, is the first step to dismantling their power. And from there, it's about actively counteracting those negative thoughts with positive affirmations and a focus on solutions. So instead of letting fear dictate your decisions, you're consciously choosing courage and action. Exactly. It's about recognizing that fear is often based on perception, not reality. And by shifting our perception, by focusing on what we can control and taking proactive steps, we can overcome those fears and move forward. So much of this boils down to mindset, doesn't it? It's about cultivating that unshakable belief in yourself and your ability to achieve your goals. Think and Grow Rich argues that this self-belief, this unwavering faith in yourself, is crucial for success. It's like that quote, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. But what about knowledge and skills? Surely those play a role in achieving success too. Absolutely. While Think and Grow Rich emphasizes the power of mindset, it also acknowledges the importance of specialized knowledge. It argues that formal education is just the foundation. True mastery comes from continuously seeking out knowledge specific to your field, from becoming a student of your craft. So it's about being a lifelong learner, constantly expanding your knowledge base and honing your skills. Exactly. Hey, want our free AI dope top AI tools that we use? Chat below. It's our live Google Sheets packed with over 100 killer tools, video, music, photos, AI voices, productivity, script writing, YouTube hacks, captions, the works, always growing, live Google Sheet, always free, AI, dope top AI tools that we use. Download and chat below. Back to the show. In today's rapidly changing world, complacency can be fatal. Think and Grow Rich urges us to embrace a growth mindset to always be seeking out new information and refining our expertise. It's like they say, the more you learn, the more you realize how much you don't know. But knowledge without action is like, well, a book left unread, Think and Grow Rich is big on taking action right. Absolutely. The book argues that knowledge only becomes power when it's put into action. It encourages readers to turn their desires into concrete plans to break down those big, audacious goals into smaller, manageable steps. It's about moving from the realm of dreaming to doing, from visualization to execution. Precisely. It's one thing to have a vision board. It's another thing entirely to roll up your sleeves and do the work, to take those consistent daily actions that turn those dreams into reality. It's like that quote often attributed to Thomas Jefferson. I'm a great believer in luck, and I find the harder I work, the more I have of it. Speaking of action, one of the key takeaways from Think and Grow Rich seems to be the importance of persistence, of not giving up on your dreams, even when faced with obstacles. Absolutely. Think and Grow Rich emphasizes that setbacks are inevitable on the road to success. What separates those who achieve their goals from those who don't is often their level of persistence, their willingness to keep going, even when the going gets tough. Yeah, it's not just about blind persistence, is it? It's about being strategic about learning from your mistakes and adjusting your approach as needed. Exactly. Think and Grow Rich encourages readers to view setbacks as opportunities for growth and learning. It's about analyzing what went wrong, identifying areas for improvement, and coming back stronger and smarter. So it's about embracing failure as a stepping stone to success rather than a dead end. Precisely. 
Think and Grow Rich argues that failure is often our greatest teacher. It's through our setbacks that we learn the most valuable lessons and develop the resilience needed to achieve lasting success. It's like that saying, fall seven times, stand up eight, think and grow rich, emphasizes that we're not meant to do this alone though, right? This whole mastermind concept speaks to the power of collaboration and support. Absolutely. The book argues that we can achieve far more collectively than we ever could individually. It's about seeking out mentors, building strategic partnerships, and surrounding yourself with people who believe in your vision and support your journey. It's about leveraging the power of community, of tapping into the collective wisdom and experience of others. Exactly. Think and Grow Rich encourages readers to be proactive in building their networks, to seek out individuals who can offer guidance, support, and accountability. It's about recognizing that we don't have to reinvent the wheel. There are people who have already walked the path we're on and can offer invaluable insights and advice. And those connections, those relationships, can be just as valuable as any technical skill or business strategy. Absolutely. In fact, Think and Grow Rich argues that building strong relationships is essential for both personal and professional success. It's about cultivating trust, fostering collaboration, and creating a network of support that will see you through both the highs and lows of your journey. And let's not forget, Think and Grow Rich doesn't shy away from the realities of the business world. It acknowledges that there's a financial aspect to success, a need to understand the principles of economics and how money works. Right. The book argues that financial literacy is crucial for achieving lasting success. It's not enough to simply earn money. You need to understand how to manage it, invest it, and make it work for you. So it's about becoming financially savvy, about developing a healthy relationship with money. Exactly. Think and Grow Rich encourages readers to educate themselves about personal finance, to understand concepts like budgeting, investing, and wealth creation. It's about taking control of your financial future rather than letting it control you. Precisely. Think and Grow Rich argues that financial freedom is attainable for anyone willing to put in the effort to understand and apply sound financial principles. It's about making informed decisions about your money and building a solid foundation for long-term financial security. But it's not just about amassing wealth for the sake of it, is it? Yeah. Think and Grow Rich emphasizes that true wealth encompasses much more than just money. You're absolutely right. The book argues that true wealth encompasses spiritual, mental, and material well-being. It's about living a life of purpose and fulfillment, about making a positive impact on the world, and about experiencing joy, love, and connection in all areas of your life. So it's about finding that balance, that sweet spot where you're financially secure, personally fulfilled, and making a meaningful contribution to the world. Exactly. Think and Grow Rich suggests that true success is holistic. It's about aligning your financial goals with your values, pursuing work that lights you up, and cultivating relationships that nourish your soul. It's about defining success on your own terms, rather than letting society dictate what it should look like. Precisely. Think and Grow Rich encourages readers to identify their own unique definition of success and to create a life that aligns with those values and aspirations. And that journey, that pursuit of a life well-lived, is what Think and Grow Rich is all about. But even with the best intentions and a rock-solid plan, there are bound to be bumps along the way. Think and Grow Rich acknowledges that doesn't, it doesn't shy away from the fact that setbacks and obstacles are part of the process. Absolutely. The book argues that challenges are inevitable on the road to success. It's not about avoiding them, but about developing the resilience and resourcefulness to navigate them effectively. It's about viewing obstacles not as roadblocks, but as detours on the road to your ultimate destination. Exactly. Think and Grow Rich encourages readers to adopt a growth mindset, to view challenges as opportunities for learning and growth, and to maintain an unwavering belief in their ability to overcome any obstacle that comes their way. It's about having that bring it on attitude, that unshakable faith that you have, what it takes to handle whatever life throws your way. Precisely. Think and Grow Rich argues that our mindset, our beliefs about ourselves and our capabilities plays a pivotal role in our ability to overcome adversity and achieve lasting success. It's about cultivating that inner strength, that resilience that allows you to bounce back from setbacks even stronger than before. Exactly. Thinking Grow Rich suggests that setbacks, while challenging, can actually be catalysts for growth and transformation. It's often through our struggles that we discover our greatest strengths and develop the resilience needed to achieve our full potential. It's like that saying, the oak fought the wind and was broken, the willow bent when it must and survived. 
Sometimes it's about adapting and finding a way to bend without breaking. But one fear that can really hold people back, one that Think and Grow Rich addresses head on, is the fear of criticism. Absolutely. Think and Grow Rich argues that the fear of criticism can be paralyzing. It can prevent us from sharing our gifts, from pursuing our dreams, and from living a life that's true to ourselves. It's like that fear of judgment, of not being good enough, can keep us trapped in our comfort zones, preventing us from reaching our full potential. Exactly. Think and Grow Rich encourages readers to recognize that criticism is often a reflection of the critic, not the person being criticized. It's about developing the self-awareness and confidence to discern constructive feedback from negativity and to not let the opinions of others derail us from our path. It's about having the courage to be yourself, to embrace your uniqueness, and to pursue your dreams even in the face of disapproval. Precisely. Think and Grow Rich argues that true success requires authenticity. It's about having the courage to be true to yourself, even when it's uncomfortable, and to pursue your passions with unwavering conviction. It's about recognizing that not everyone will understand or support your journey, and that's okay. What matters most is that you believe in yourself and your vision. Exactly. Think and Grow Rich encourages readers to cultivate a strong sense of self-belief, to trust their intuition, and to have the courage to forge their own path, even if it means going against the grain. It's about marching to the beat of your own drum, even if no one else can hear the music. Precisely. Think and Grow Rich argues that true originality often comes from embracing our individuality and having the courage to express ourselves authentically without seeking validation from external sources. It's about recognizing that your voice, your perspective, your unique gifts have value and that the world needs to hear what you have to say. Exactly. Think and Grow Rich encourages readers to embrace their uniqueness, to share their gifts with the world, and to never dim their light to make others feel more comfortable. But how do you actually do that? How do you silence those inner voices of doubt and fear and step into your power? Because it's one thing to read about it in a book, but putting it into practice, that's the real challenge. That's where the rubber meets the road, isn't it? Think and Grow Rich offers some practical advice on this front as well. It suggests developing the habit of making firm decisions and then sticking to them. When you're clear about your goals and confident in your choices, the opinions of others matter less. It's about developing that inner compass, that sense of self-trust that guides your decisions and actions. Exactly. Think and Grow Rich argues that when we trust ourselves, when we believe in our ability to make sound decisions, we're less likely to be swayed by the doubts and criticisms of others. It's about recognizing that you are the expert of your own life and that while seeking advice and guidance from others can be valuable, ultimately you have to trust your own judgment. Precisely. Think and Grow Rich emphasizes the importance of self-reliance, of developing the confidence and inner strength to make decisions that are in alignment with your values and goals, even if they're not popular or widely accepted. It's about having the courage to trust your gut, even when everyone else is telling you to play it safe. Exactly. Think and Grow Rich argues that some of the greatest successes come from those who dared to challenge the status quo, who followed their own inner compass, and who had the courage to forge their own path, even when others doubted them. It's about embracing that entrepreneurial spirit, that willingness to take risks, to step outside of your comfort zone, and to trust that even if you stumble, you have the resilience to get back up and keep moving forward. Precisely. Think and Grow Rich encourages readers to view challenges not as obstacles, but as opportunities for growth, innovation, and self-discovery. It's about embracing the unknown, stepping outside of our comfort zones, and trusting that the universe will support us as we courageously pursue our dreams. It's about having that unwavering belief that you are capable of achieving amazing things if you set your mind to it and are willing to put in the work. But Think and Grow Rich doesn't just tell us to be fearless robots, does it? It acknowledges that we're human, that we have emotions, yeah. and that those emotions can be powerful driving forces. Absolutely. In fact, the book dedicates a significant portion to exploring the power of our emotions, particularly faith, love, and yes, even sex. Okay, we've danced around this idea of transmuting sexual energy, but it seems like Think and Grow Rich is saying there's more to it than just, well, physical desire. Exactly. It's about recognizing the intensity of that energy, the drive and focus it can create and channeling it towards other pursuits, towards our goals and aspirations. So it's like taking that passionate energy and redirecting it, using it to fuel our creativity, our ambition, our drive to succeed. Precisely. 
Think and Grow Rich suggests that we all have this wellspring of emotional energy within us, and that by consciously directing it, by harnessing its power, we can achieve extraordinary things. It's about becoming masters of our emotions rather than being ruled by them. Exactly. Think and Grow Rich acknowledges that our emotions can be both our greatest allies and our worst enemies. It's about learning to harness their power for good, to channel them constructively, and to avoid being controlled by negative emotions like fear, anger, or resentment. So it's about finding that balance, that emotional intelligence where you're aware of your emotions, you understand their impact, but you're not letting them dictate your actions or sabotage your success. Precisely. Think and Grow Rich suggests that true success requires emotional maturity. It's about developing the self-awareness to recognize our emotional triggers, the discipline to manage our reactions, and the resilience to bounce back from setbacks without letting them derail us. It's about becoming the CEO of our own emotional landscape making conscious choices about how we respond to the ups and downs of life. But Think and Grow Rich goes even deeper, doesn't it? It's not just about achieving external success, it's about cultivating a rich inner life as well. Absolutely. In fact, the book argues that true wealth encompasses much more than just material possessions or financial abundance. It's about living a life of meaning and purpose, about cultivating fulfilling relationships, and about experiencing a deep sense of inner peace and contentment. So it's about defining success on your own terms, creating a life that feels both fulfilling and aligned with your values. Exactly. Think and Grow Rich suggests that true success is holistic. It's about nurturing all aspects of our being physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual, and creating a life that feels balanced, meaningful, and authentic. It's about recognizing that true wealth is about so much more than just the number in your bank account. It's about living a life that feels rich in experiences, relationships, and personal fulfillment. Precisely. It's about aligning your actions with your values, pursuing your passions, and making a positive impact on the world. It's about leaving a legacy that extends far beyond any material possessions. Wow, listening to you break down Think and Grow Rich like this, it's clear that this book is more than just a guide to getting rich. It's a blueprint for designing a life of purpose, meaning, and lasting fulfillment. It's a timeless classic for a reason. The principles outlined in Think and Grow Rich have resonated with readers for generations because they tap into something fundamental about the human experience, our innate desire to create a life of purpose, meaning, and abundance. So if you had to distill the essence of Think and Grow Rich into one key takeaway for our listeners today, what would it be? that you are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. But it's not just about thinking positive thoughts, it's about backing those thoughts up with action persistence and an unwavering belief in yourself. It's about understanding that you have the power to shape your reality, to design a life that reflects your deepest values and aspirations. Think and Grow Rich provides the framework, the tools, and the inspiration but it's up to each of us to put in the work to embrace the journey and to never give up on our dreams. It's a powerful message, one that's as relevant today as it was when the book was first published. So to our listener, we encourage you to pick up a copy of Think and Grow Rich and discover for yourself the transformative power of harnessing your mindset, embracing your potential, and creating a life that truly lights you up. And if you want another AI dope deep dive, check this next video and ask yourself, how lucky are we to live in these AI dope times?